All right, welcome back to the unofficial guide to Wirecast online course. I am here to help you learn Wirecast in an effective way, and I'm answering all the comments. So let the comments come in. I would love to help you uh, with your journey with Wirecast. Now, capturing monitors is something that we all need to learn how to do. Why is that? because we have the ability to capture our gameplay, right? Capture a window. We'll, we'll show a great example of this, capturing a Zoom meeting into a live stream with Wirecast. Um, you can capture a PowerPoint presentation that you can run, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. There's so many reasons why you might want to capture a presentation, maybe from another computer on your local area network. And we're gonna show you how to do that with Wirecast today. Now. There's a screen capture option in the shots area when you click the plus button and you can choose screen capture. And screen capture will allow you to choose from different screens that you may have running. And it will also allow you to choose this remote desktop presenter. Now choosing a screen that you already have is super easy. So if you have multiple monitors, you can play your video games or your Zoom meeting or whatever, your presentation on the second monitor, run Wirecast on the first monitor, and just capture that and bring that into your production. And we'll show an example of that. The other option, which is something that we'll show off today, is the remote desktop presenter option. Wirecast has actually developed its own Mac and PC applications that are totally free, which allow you to bring in the presentation from a computer on your local area network. Now, we're going to learn a little bit more about networking in this course, but essentially, as long as you're on the same internet connection and same building, usually same local area network, you can install a remote desktop presenter on, let's say in a church, there's a pastor who has a laptop in the front of the room. You can install that desktop presenter ca um, capture software and then bring their PowerPoint slides directly into a different Wirecast computer that might be in, let's say, the back of the room. This software is available for Mac and PC. I'm going to show it to you on my PC to show you how it works to bring in presentations using that software. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have my PowerPoint over here and I'm going to full screen uh, Wirecast on this side so you guys can see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, I'm just going to capture uh, a presentation. So screen capture. And we'll just do a screen capture of screen number two. That's screen number one. I need to do a new screen capture. And essentially what we can do is we can hit the configure button and we can choose which screen we want. Now I have quite a few screens. So it's gonna take me a second to figure out which one is which. There we go, got it. Clear these other layers. Okay, so this is my PowerPoint presentation. So I just captured my PowerPoint presentation. That's awesome. That's a simple way to capture a presentation into Wirecast. That I think you guys will totally get. It's not. A, it's pretty straightforward. The only uh, thing to think about is, you know, that configure button that we were looking at. You do have some options to name it. You can add some audio delay if necessary. Obviously, we do want to capture the video. You can choose whether it's a window, a monitor, or a game. Uh, games generally are captured at a higher frame rate. And then you can obviously select the window and you can actually select an audio device with it. So it, it, it's quite powerful. Um, but let's get rid of that. And I want to show you the next option for bringing in sources, which is the remote desktop presenter. It's also showing Studio PC. Why is it showing Studio PC? Well, I have the desktop presenter actually running right now. So when this is running, uh, you can choose the different displays that you have the ability to capture, and it literally just sends it to Wirecast. So this is really awesome. Uh, it gives you the ability to choose different applications, different windows, uh, it's 3D compatible, and it gives you the IP address right here. You can pause it if you're not using it. Um, but this can run on any Mac or PC computer, and it will literally bring in, I'm going to close this now because we're not necessarily going to need it, but bring in the desktop from any computer 
on your local area network, which I think is very powerful because there's a lot of opportunities to have a second laptop, a second presenter, a presenter who is a pastor at the front of a church, all kinds of different examples for how to use that. All right, guys, moving right along with the unofficial guide to Wirecast, trying to get you guys up to speed with Wirecast. Not as fast as possible, but as efficiently as possible. So we're going to move on to our next video. Are you guys ready? Let me know in the comments below. Did I skip something? Is there something I can explain in more detail? You let me know. All right. Talk soon.